Welcome back, sports fans. We're joined by Lady Warriors soccer coach Julie Bergstrom. Julie, thanks for joining us. Thank you. What a way to uh, finish off the weekend here. You guys go through the state tournament, don't get scored upon, win your second straight state championship. Put you in pretty elite company with uh, St. Charles, New Trier, and a St. Viator. Yeah, it, I mean, it, it's incredible. I think a lot of us, it probably hasn't sunk in that you have a back-to-back -back state championship, uh, undefeated and stuff like that. So it's pretty exciting. Now, in 2001, you took over the program halfway through the season. Never had been a head coach before. Eight years later, you got your second state championship. Did you ever think that was possible? No, I really didn't. I, I always dream about, hey, let's let's get to the state tournament. And then I, it came with back-to-back -back classes and stuff like that. A group of uh, seniors that were on the team as freshmen. There was 11 of them as freshmen. And it just kind of really became, I don't know, a lot of people call them Bergstrom's, Bergstrom's group, Bergstrom's bunch. And they, they're the first group to do it. So. You know, I guess it would make sense to think that the Gatorade Player of the Year helped you win a state championship this year, but you actually lost Bree Rodriguez in the quarterfinals in like the first 15 minutes of the game, um, but it really didn't seem to slow the team down much. She was still there. She was there in spirit. Uh, she, she was at every little huddle. They brought it over. Uh, she gave the captain's band to Vanessa to play, and I think Vanessa played, you know, like as Bree and Vanessa that game. And, yeah, I mean, the team, the team, you can't go that long winning without having a good team. And there's phenomenal players that unfortunately sometimes don't really get noticed because of some of our stars on the team. And so it just showed that it's a true team. You know, and, and coming into this tournament, you had five girls with 10 goals apiece or more. Um, after Megan Green scored, I believe that bumped her up to the sixth player with over 10 goals. You guys have been outscoring your opponents 221 to 14 the past two years. How, how, how has that come to fruition? I, I think part of it, I mean, they, they're a very skilled group. They're very, they've been trained since they're a little to take care of the ball. And then within the system that we play, they're allowed to express themselves. You know, they, I want them to have creativity, go play for each other. They, they're always moving for each other. They, in practice, kind of know where each other's going, and, but they're allowed to do what they want. And so I think that really gives them the ownership of the game, and they take pride in trying to score goals. Now, back in 2001, when you started coaching the team, was it like that? Were you able to give the players that much freedom, or is that something you guys had to build towards? <laughs> uh, back in 2001, I was pretty much my second year just out of college, not really sure what all was going on. So a lot of mistakes. Um, I, don't, <laughs> I really don't remember much from then. <laughs> But can you, can you point to a specific time uh, with, throughout the last eight years that maybe this the whole coaching thing you know, came a little bit easier and the, the players responded a little bit better? I think uh, back when that group of freshmen, the ones that were seniors last year, uh, I was really with those guys, I really learned a lot through them and we had time to grow together. And that group, I kind of started really studying other coaches and stuff like that and what do they do and what does everybody do? And I think it just kind of, I don't know. There's a lot to learn. I still have a ton to learn. So, now let's let's hit up on your uh, your goalie real quick. Claire Handel, the junior, she had uh, three shutouts that ties the state record in the in the state tournament. Out of uh, six state tournament games, she has five shutouts. She's got 22 shutouts this season, 64 for a career. That's fourth place all time. Um, Brooke Whitgren of Centennial has 70, and that's the career mark. So she only needs six more next year to break that record. How, uh, how amazing is that? Uh, yeah, it's, it's something that, I don't know, we, as, as a team with any of the streaks that we have, I don't think we really sit there and focus on the streaks. And I think it's probably something that when we look back, I'd be like, that was pretty amazing. So, yeah, I mean, hopefully everything goes well for that. You, t you talk about, uh, you know, even though Claire is the one that's recording these shutouts um, at, for a statistic, but is it more of the team? Can the team help her obtain a lot of those shutouts? Yeah, everything from scoring goals to not scoring goals or get, stopping goals, whatever way you want to put it, it is a team thing. I mean, if we have the ball, they can't score. Or if we have the leadership within, I mean, I think Claire, obviously we had a whole new defense back there, and Claire had to take a lot of ownership in the beginning of the season with Rachel right in front. And, I mean, they really kind of gelled as a group, and the more success we had, the more the team takes pride in, hey, we need to get a shutout. You know, Bree got the, uh, like we said earlier, got the Gatorade um, Player of the Year honor this year. How deserving of that, of that trophy 
of that honor. Uh, this year, I mean, she she's played some of the best soccer I've seen her play, um, and she was on fire playing. And she just she knew when to pass, when to dribble, when to shoot, and really mixed it up and made great decisions. And uh, people would come to the games. A lot of people would just come would come to see Bree play. And if you've seen her play, you're you're impressed. Yeah. Just real quick, a torn left ACL. Do we know about how long she could be out with that injury? Or it's I mean, she'll have surgery and stuff, so and then rehab and she'll be back. Okay, coach. Before we let you go, today's trivia segment, which is brought to you by Brexus Courier, your same day courier experts. The top four teams get trophies. So, which of our area schools has brought home the most girls' state soccer trophies? Naperville North with five. <laughs> That's correct. Naperville North did have five. Uh, well, Bonzi, they're in second. They've got three trophies, two state championships. We'd like to thank Coach Julie Bergstrom for joining us, and stay tuned for more sports from around Naperville. We'll be right back.